Hi, Cyrus Roos here, Battler and Surrender Mitch's new game plus 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 video, episode 189. And it's been a few, a few days since last episode. I've, I've definitely done a lot of off camera stuff. Like, I've grinded even more W plus and W minus bosons. And I have, I'm, I'm actually started grinding some like quantum balsonic runes. I'm not sure why I did that off camera, but I did. I'm going to try to start getting more levels of this. Um, yeah, I'm, it's now up to 67 million and it'll just keep going up. I also. I have so much bosonic battery that I decided to set the overdrive speed to pretty high. Actually, I feel like I could, I could make it even a little bit higher, like 260, maybe, or not 260, but 2.6 may be the best point because I, I'm trying to get rid of all the W minus bosons and I don't really want to wait. So, yeah, I'm still nowhere close to the next bosonic upgrade, but at least I at least I have all the runes for it. So, there's that, and then. There's also photons, which I can I can finally do another light empowerment. So yeah, I'm gonna go into Big Rip, um, see if I can just get anything here, like any tachyon particles. I can get E393. That's just double the amount of tachyon particles as before. Anything in Tree of Decay, um, E199 spin. I'm sort of close to the next radioactive decay, but not really. Um, it doesn't look, look like I can get much more than 94 rewards. Here, so I'm probably not even gonna try. I think it's worth it just to, you know, ghostify. That rhymes. Whatever. I don't even. I don't even care. Just, just do this. Maybe dilate. Um, again, just a little bit of a bump of attacking particles, and then get all the ghost particle multipliers as I can. One, two, three, four. It's possible. Actually, I could get e e1390 neutrinos. Interesting. But anyway, I'm just going to. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna ghostify. It's gonna give me E800 ghost particles, so I'm not quite to the next neutrino boost, but I feel like next light empowerment, I will be. So, here we go. Ghostify. And now, um, I should, yeah, now now I do the light empowerment. Where is it? And photons. So look at this. Eight light empowerments. So now, of course, I need to do, you know, everything over again. Um, well, first, I can get a ton of, of neutrino multipliers, so I can, I can get this, even though it's not going to do anything for now. I, I Well, actually, the Ghostifies have actually gave me neutrinos, which is interesting. Maybe maybe they're getting, maybe it's getting important again to do that, because yeah, I have E1400 neutrinos. I, um, let's, let's see what Photons is doing. I, yeah, I have a low limit, so I feel like I should, yeah, start trying to Increase this limit of ghostly rays. I haven't even done much in Big Rip. I should probably actually do some more stuff in Big Rip, but I'm already up to ultraviolet light, so I mean that that's good. But I I think I'm gonna need stuff like you know nano field rewards, and I probably already have yeah I already have E166 spin, which is six radioactive decays. I want to get to seven eventually. Maybe if I go into nano field, that gets me up to 85, maybe even 86 rewards. So. That's definitely something there. Maybe that'll help Tree of Decay. No, I don't think it's really helping Tree of Decay, but maybe it'll help me get more ghostly photons. So I, yeah, I'm now up to the limit of ghostly rays, which means I can go out of Big Rip so I can keep increasing um, my ghostly rays even further. And Bosonic Lab, um, I, there's not really much happening in here. Like, I guess there's the Bosonic Lab is currently running at 11.5, but it's really not much else. Maybe I'll, I'll set the overdrive speed back a little lower, just because I'm not really gonna be able to get much of this. Maybe, maybe I will. I get a million levels of this upgrade, but it's really not doing much. It looks like I can get like maybe, maybe once like I have all the like W minus bosons cleared, I can maybe get 10,000 levels of this per second, which could give me as much as a billion levels. I, I would definitely like a billion levels of this in one day. That would be amazing. I'm not sure if that's that would be possible though. All the way back up to E100 quadrillion antimatter, which is a sign that I'm definitely um yeah, it's definitely pretty good. Maybe I can even grind some neutrinos. I'm not sure if, if it's worth it yet. Let, let's see if it is. Uh it is worth it. I can get E I can get about 20 orders of magnitude of neutrinos. That way, I mean, it isn't all that significant, but it'll do something. It'll definitely, like, I'm now back up to E61 billion in Big Rip, which hopefully means 
yeah, I'm up to 7 radioactive decays. That's where I was before. And if I can get up to E200 spin, that's um, I have matched where I was before. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. And also, I should go into Nano Field. 92, yeah, I'm essentially back up to where I am. I, I'll probably go for 9. I'm not sure if I should go for 94 here. And that's what I that's what I what I had before, but may, maybe yeah the lightning patterns are actually really nice like they give like like a definitely a burst of speed that I don't really get all that often because Bosonic Lab is extremely slow so yeah there's really at this point there's really not much I can do I guess I can I can get the 94th Nano Field reward I can keep you know grinding ghostly photons so I can try to get more ghostly rays and and the next light empowerment is 20 ultraviolet light that's gonna be tricky I, I'm gonna need, I may need as much as a quintillion ghostly rays for this and if it's a quintillion at this rate that I'm having right now that's two days which is way less than the actual time and it takes to get the light empowerment so i feel like i, I i'm good at e198 cork spins and 94 rewards so maybe i can even get some tachyon particles yes i can it's again just one order of magnitude but every, every bit counts so yeah now i'm just gonna um, get more antimatter maybe i can get some more quarks Color power, color power, and then neutrinos as well. Like you can see, I'm actually getting some here. I can probably, I can definitely get something more like E1493 or something like that. Um, but there's really not much else other than that, which is yeah, it's 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 unfortunate. But I guess this is just how this game is gonna work. So uh, yeah, I'll just grind the neutrinos, and then there's really not much else. I'm just gonna, probably just going to do some off-camera grinding of, like, you know, the W plus and W minus bosons. Maybe I'll oscillate some of the Z neutrinos off-camera. Off I Also, I have 69.69 .69 million. Nice. But I'm going to try to get this to a billion. That's sort of my goal. So, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back a couple days later, and I have E120 quadrillion antimatter for the first time. So... That, that's that's pretty good, and also it looks like I can get a ton of neutrinos here, if I yeah if I crunch so e fifteen fifty on each branch of neutrinos, or it's, I don't, I know it's not branch, but you, you get what I mean each neutrino type, which is pretty which is pretty op, and also let's see how much, uh, only eighty million levels, why I thought I thought I was gonna get more than eighty million levels. It's probably, oh yeah, because I need infinity bosonic runes, not just the quantum bosonic runes. I have six billion of the quantum ones, and I I have also have a ton of anti prions. I'm not even sure. Maybe I can just do this. Th this does barely anything now. Nowadays, I will get these eighty million levels though, because that will speed things up slightly, just 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 slightly. Also, actually, I should probably get some levels of this because. It would automatically take 437 or 438,000 runes per second. This is only 426,000 per second. So, yeah, that will speed things up slightly. I do want to try going to Big Rip. And actually, I'm going to be grinding some more neutrinos because it looks like I have like 100 more orders of magnitude of quarks than before. Let's see if this does anything. Uh, no, not really. I don't know, I don't know why I thought I was going to do something. Maybe I can just check photons. Or I have 91 quadrillion ghostly rays. I'm back up to 17 ultraviolet light. I should probably, yeah, I should probably go into Big Rip. I can, I can get all the way up to E67 billion antimatter in Big Rip, which is a good sign. I, that means, yeah, E200 spin, which means I'm, I'm not far off from the next radioactive decay. That's probably like somewhere around E204 spin. Also, if I go to nano field. It's about the same number of, award, of rewards. I think I can get 95, though. So, one more reward. Everything counts. And I I think I can also get some tachyon particles here. Yeah, E397. It's three more orders of magnitude. I mean, it's not all that much, but it's something. And I think I, I need 
three more of these upgrades, like the middle ones, in order to get the eighth radioactive decay. So I'm just going to wait for that. Okay, it looks like I'm about to get the eighth radioactive decay in the green branch. That is instantly about six orders of magnitude of spins. Now I just need to get it in all the other branches. And this will definitely, yeah, here it is. E, 212 spin. Maybe I can get a little bit more. Nanofield, I'm actually almost at 96 rewards, which would cap out the, um, or which would get me 12 rewards in each sort of, you know, little thing. I want to get E900 ghost particles so I can, I can get the new neutrino boost, but I'm just not quite there yet. Even if I get these doublers, it's just not quite enough. I think with the, with the eighth radioactive decay, though, I think I can probably get some more tachyon particles. Yeah, E401. So I feel like this Big Rip was a success, but now I'm just going to go back out of Big Rip and probably just keep getting more um, bosonic runes. Like, that's, that's that's what I think I should do. I have no idea what I'm... Maybe I should just gain antiprions. Anti Could oscillate neutrinos, but it would do almost nothing. So I think just gaining the antiprions is probably the best idea and just trying to get a lot of levels of this. Because now it looks like I'm getting like 20,000 levels of the of this per second. And that is like 1.5 billion. So th yeah, that, that would be pretty big. There's not really much else I can do. I really want to get that E900. Um, actually, what am I saying? Not much I can do. I have a quadrillion balsonic antimatter. And I need more runes to get the upgrade. So I'm actually just going to wait for this. So yeah, see in a bit... Actually, yeah, you were just, you are probably screaming at me. Also, this is a time where I'm just going to supercharge my overdrive speed so I can get to this upgrade faster. I don't care that I'm using 10,000 per second. I just want to get to this upgrade. I, it's just, this, this weight is a bit agonizing, honestly, and I'm willing to spend my bosonic battery to just make this faster. I know if I did it at like four or five times, it'll deplete my bosonic battery almost immediately, but I am willing to go up to like 3.4 times. It's just to speed this process up. Maybe I'll, actually I'm willing to go up to like this much. Maybe even 3.8. Okay, 3.8 is the highest I'm gonna go. This is, this is where it's actually using a lot of bosonic battery that I'm actually starting to get nervous. So 3.8 will be my limit. And this upgrade is you will produce space shards without having a big rip, but break eternity upgrades are nerfed. Maybe it's good to go into big rip beforehand because of this. And now I'm just 15 million away. Um, here, okay, 10 million away. I, yeah, I'm going to have enough bosonic battery remaining. Hopefully, so right now I have E247 space shards, and this upgrade will allow me to get probably to let, let's see how much it'll allow me to um get e281 space shards so maybe that will help get me more again more tree of decay stuff so maybe i should just go into big rip again because of of tree of decay okay yeah i'm just gonna go into big yeah look at that e this is gonna allow me to get the not just the eighth eighth radioactive decay but also the ninth radioactive decay and it allows me to get E900 ghost particles. This is a powerful balsonic upgrade that I, I definitely needed. And I I'm probably see why the break eternity upgrades were nerfed. So you're going to see the new neutrino boost next episode. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.